the topic of my talk is slum dog billionaire and the reason for the name is director of the movie slum dog millionaire who in february 2009 when he was just nominated for the nine oscars not one yet just nominated he was flying to london for bafta award and then onwards to los angeles to receive the know the results of what happened in the airport he met a man and they became friends and when they came to the security gate one of the guys in the security asked danny boyle why did you use the word dog for people living in slum and like danny was a little bit flustered so the the next guy he answered for danny and he said the movie is about a person from the slums who everyone thought was like a dog becoming a millionaire it's a rags to rich story it's a story about a nobody to to somebody and and even more and that answer satisfied the security guard the security uh, at the check in and uh, he gave a smile after that later on the answer uh, kind of earned the other guy an audience with anil kapoor who was waiting for danny boyle because they supposed they were in the crew of the movie and uh, and it also earned a pardon for for that guy because he confessed that he watched the movie slum dog millionaire on torrent on bit torrent so now the question is how do i know this story i know this story because that guy was me <laughs> so this event happened in 2009 and slum dog milena was the right time now that i was given an opportunity to speak for tedx dharavi dharavi being one of the largest urban slums in the world i really thought that it's time to upgrade the title and the correct title should now be slum dog billionaire because now we have something by which a person need not just win a quiz competition to become a millionaire there is something else which will make him a billionaire in really short time and that that thing is very very new and uh, uh, i'm i'm very pleased to say that we are in the world of blockchains if you have not heard of it of those who have heard of it and and i am going to speak about that the thrust of my talk is going to be how using blockchains a person from any ordinary background can actually become a billionaire and that's true uh let's imagine a country called blockchain land and I, I really thought how to explain you blockchains because blockchain is a technical, it's it's a it's a technical public le decentralized ledger. So it's a very technical, uh, technically intensive term. And I was kind of thinking, how do I present this idea to you in such a way that you will get the true impact, the true uh, thrust of what exactly is happening. So. so this country blockchain land is an amazing wealth generator to give you an example how much wealth this country generates new york as as the the whole real estate in one of the the most like the the real economic center of new york which is manhattan island today is about 700 billion dollars Manhattan was purchased by the Dutch people originally for just $24 of worth of goods of the skins that they gave to the native americans so over 400 years that $24 became 700 billion dollars blockchain land on on comparison created the same amount of wealth 700 billion dollar in exactly eight years starting from 2009 and the very first year it did nothing it did not even produce a cent of it 90% of that wealth in blockchain land 
was created actually in last one year. So, it is accelerating the wealth creation is, is, is getting accelerated. Now, blockchain land as a country is available to you right sitting at your home or wherever you are sitting if you have access to internet, if you have access to mobile phone, if you have access to little bit of knowledge and, and access to how to learn something new, you have access to blockchain land. And blockchain land essentially creates wealth because of two big rules which is not present in countries around the world today. The first rule is every one person in the blockchain land can create his own rules. Own rules. He has the power of his own rule making. And the second rule in blockchain land is every person can create his own money. He can create his own wealth as well. In traditional countries, all these powers have been centralized with governments. The power of rule making is with, with uh, either the parliaments or by dictators or by the monarchs. And the power of creating wealth also has lies with all the governments. Government has appropriated that function. And as a result of which, it turns out with, with what has happened in blockchain land over the last nine years, it has made a huge difference in amount of wealth which is being generated. It has made difference between, I would say, uh, poverty and being extremely, extremely, extremely rich. Blockchain land has produced at least 25 billion eyes in last one year. Now, the next question is, how, how can you do things in blockchain land? How do you create things in blockchain land? How do you make money out of blockchain land? So, let me introduce you to world's first, first blockchain resort. In blockchain land, what you try to do is you create, you redefine economic relationships to suit the needs of blockchain land. So, you create... You convert every expenditure, every spending, you, create, you convert every financial transaction essentially into a financial asset. So first, let's just take a small physical tour of, of, of this blockchain resort and then we'll tell you how exactly, uh, how exactly this operates. So this is the main gate. This resort is in Bali, Indonesia. The name is Ranchi Mall Blockchain Alampuri Museum Spa and Resort. We have done this. Ranchi Mall has done the world's first blockchain resort. And it's been done in Bali, Indonesia because it's, it's just friendlier to do it at that point of time. Now, as you enter through the Satoshi Nakamoto Drive, Satoshi Nakamoto is the person who created the first known blockchain called Bitcoin. You will pass through Ethereum Gate, which is another blockchain towards a statue of Ganesha, Bali being a Hindu country, Ganesha like, like in India is there you know, as a prominent uh, auspicious start symbol for anything. And then you have different villas and all villas are named after different blockchains. So on the left we have Ranchi Mall tokens which is a private token that we ourselves created in a private group just to understand the rules of blockchain and on and then we also have a villa on the name of florine coin which is called flow villa and flow is another blockchain it's a very it's a very it's, a, it's an emerging blockchain and of course you have every villa has paintings it's, a, it's, a, it's an art museum so you have the painting here the painting of riddhi which is one of the the leading painters of indonesia so, so, this resort, typically when you buy a hotel or resort, you pay for the rooms. Here you don't pay for the rooms. You buy an investment right, you buy the tokens of this blockchain resort. And with the economics of blockchain, these tokens are growing so fast that it just turns out that you don't have, if, if the rules, the supply and demand metrics are met properly, the valuation can go up so fast like Bitcoin went all the way from 0.004 cent up to currently $9,000 per Bitcoin in a very short span of time. The value of these tokens go up so fast that you, you can buy any number of room nights if you were earlier in the game, if you, could, if you could come earlier in the game. Time is money. So what do you do? Now if you want to 
create, if you have an asset, if you want doing some business, and if you want to, to participate in the enterprises of blockchain land, what should you do? So obviously, the first thing is you should try to convert your existing business or business customers, try to make them their investors. And you can actually do it in such a way by which your customers are not paying anything extra. But you have to somehow ache out, you have to somehow extract a little bit of time. Maybe you ask your customers that, can I, is it, if, if you would like, we would get you, if you are selling leather bags, we'll get you leather bags, but you have to wait maybe a month extra. Buy a little bit of time from your customer and give him what he wants for the money that he pays. But in that one month, you can route that money through your tokens. You could, you could give your customers your token, and over a period of time, as customers, more customers starts coming in, the, the token will get value. Getting that initial value is the most difficult task. Getting your tokens in the blockchain land, giving them initial value is the most difficult task. Once you give them initial value, then it's a very easy game. Because as the price starts going up, your customer starts telling their own friends. Uh, your friends starts knowing it. All of them start coming in, and then it's a very easy game. But to, to get the start, that's when, that's when uh, is, the, is, the, is the tough one. And if you, let's say, somehow create your tokens, what I have realized from my experience of Ranchi Mall tokens, there are three things that you should take into account. The first thing is you have to always make sure supply of what you are offering, the tokens that you're offering, has to be lower than the demand of those tokens. That's a, the first condition why price of anything increases. Price of anything increases because demand of something is higher than the supply. The second condition that you have to make sure is that assuming you raise, you can actually raise some funding. You can, you can also sell your tokens or coins directly. You can, anyone can do that in blockchain land. There's, blockchain is on internet space and you don't need anyone's permission. So when you sell your tokens, and you can sell your tokens everywhere in the world. You can sell it in Indonesia, you can sell it in US, you can sell it in UAE, in India. When you sell your tokens, you got to make sure that those, that those uh, the money that you spend should last enough so that tokens have had enough time to go in value. If the tokens have had enough time to grow in value, then you will have a chance to have a second round of fundraising by selling more tokens because you have already given, proven that your tokens are good by demonstrating its increase in value. In case of Ranchi Mall, it went a little bit crazy. So our tokens started at about $1 and within one month, actually two months, it went to $980. That's where it stands right now. So it's like it was about 980 times price appreciation. And it was so fast appreciation that I had to put in some extra rules because we didn't want it to go bust and we didn't want our, uh, our investors to get hurt. Uh, in Ranchi Mall, we, we, uh, we try, we, the, the idea is to be a long term investor so that the, all the long term investors can be, uh, you know, uh, they, they, we don't want to lose any customer for faith issues. So those are the rules of, of blockchain land. Now, now I'm going to give you a blueprint as to how you can transform the slum enterprises. Uh, 900 million people of the, of the world, a quarter of urban population, they live in slums. And most of them are living in extremely concentrated lands. Uh, in Dharui, for instance, an uh, area of 535 acres sustains of up to a million people. And, and those people, of, of course, most of the people, they go, go out in the city and they work, but they have also created an economy in themselves. So for instance, in Dharavi, you have leather industry, you have textile industry, you have uh, pottery, you have em embroidery, and a lot of recycling. And the turnover of all these industries is estimated roughly around more than a billion dollar. Now, assuming all these industries, where to come on blockchain. And what we have done is we have created something called the Dharavi blockchain contract, a sample contract, because we believe that uh, a lot of you will take some ideas and go away. And uh, there has to be a way forward for if someone of you wants to really act on it, there has to be a way to way forward. So we have created a sample template blockchain contract and we, we will provide all the technology. And what it will do is that it will enable the industries in Dharavi to get onto the blockchain land 
and the money that we'll raise will go back directly to those industries. And when it's very easy to find out what are those industries that are doing well. It are those industries that are, that are participating in the token system. Uh, they, are, they are giving investors to the token, token raise. So the ones who raise the, the industries that are more active with their customers, they are the ones who should, who, it's fair to say they are the ones who should get the money back. And then you can spend a lot of that money into marketing those enterprises because uh, in India people don't spend so much on marketing. So you, the first area is to improve the marketing spends and then obviously improve the technology and Im improve their reach you know, so that they are higher up in the supply chain directly to the customer. In this case, most of the customers will come from the blockchain land itself once they are really, that, that's the kind of integrations which are happening, which you are seeing in different blockchains. So we have posted this, the details of the blockchain contract on Medium. If you search Ranchi Mall, Medium, Dharvi blockchain contract, those keywords in Google will come to the link. And you can find the technical details out there. And uh, we'll keep on updating if we get volunteers who will want to take, take this forward. So I started with an airport meeting of Danny Boyle, and uh, there's another meeting I want to talk about. And uh, this meeting is actually about me. Meeting someone who made it big in blockchain, and it happened in May of 2017. And he was telling me that he has created his own tokens, and because of his tokens, he converted his industry, his, his industry all his customers came onto uh, onto blockchain and the token value appreciated five times, which let him getting more customers and which also let him increasing his own net worth. And now he, he was actually going to New York in business class to s set up a shop in Soho district next to the world famous brands like Gucci and Chanel. Looks like I, I, I got the date wrong. Oh, did I tell you it was May 2017? No, that, that's wrong. It's actually, May 2022, it's in future. And how do I know this? I know this because that person is you. No. Thank you so much.